Hi guys. When it comes to collaborative software, Microsoft SharePoint is the go-to for enterprises. However, when it comes to other uses, like internal knowledge sharing, SharePoint isn't always the best option. It can be slow, it's hard to find what you're looking for, and it often doesn't play nicely with other productivity tools, especially those not made by Microsoft. It's not that SharePoint doesn't get the job done anymore, but there are probably other options better suited to your budget, industry, or other unique needs. To help you find one, we've listed some of the best SharePoint alternatives in no particular order. Watch on how to learn more about these providers and find out which one will best work for your needs. So let's get started. The first one on the list is Confluence. Confluence is a collaboration software from Atlassian that aims to create a centralized workspace where all team members can interact. Knowledge management and project collaboration are its two largest focused areas. However, its biggest selling point is its collection of templates that help teams hit the ground running. Templates span multiple categories like business strategy, design, and human resources and multiple formats, including product requirement sheets, marketing plans, SWOT analyses, career development plans, and more. Confluence was built for teams that need a secure and reliable way to collaborate on projects in real time. Unique features include advanced search functions, shared document editing, and custom workflows. If you're in software development, you can combine Confluence with its sister product, Jira, a software development tool that helps agile teams plan, track, release, and report on work. However, there are some cons to using Confluence. No external collaboration support. Most plans are limited to one site use only. Lower tiers have no analytics and limited storage space. And for the pricing, Confluence offers a free plan for teams of 10 people or fewer, so this may be the best option if you lead a small team or company. Paid plans start at $5.75 per user per month with 250 gigabyte storage space. Quick note, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if this video is helpful, you can find links to the websites I mentioned in the video description. And if you click those links, I may earn a commission. That helps a lot, so thank you. Okay, next, let's talk about ClickUp. ClickUp's a powerful productivity platform that offers a feature-rich and completely customizable work experience to manage and monitor project updates, no matter what project style you use. It's a great SharePoint alternative because it allows you to create collaborative docs that can be connected to workflows, making executing ideas with your team easier than ever before. ClickUp Docs allows team members to work simultaneously using collaborative editing, assign comments, and keep everyone up to date with a knowledge base that can be shared publicly via URL. Add nested pages to your doc to create a visual hierarchy then add headers, ta tables, lists, and styling options to make important points stand out. However, there are some cons to using ClickUp. Steep learning curve due to the number of available features and level of customizability. Glitchy app on Android. And lacks project message board. And for the pricing, ClickUp's free plan allows unlimited users and tasks, but limits the storage to 100 megabytes. To access more advanced features and storage space, consider one of its premium plans. They are available from $5 per user per month billed yearly. ClickUp is best for team collaboration through built-in tools. Next we have Box. Box is a content management system that includes project management, document collaboration, and approval workflow features. The dashboard features workspaces and tasks lists for easy project tracking and file sharing. Box boasts wide integration, from major suites like MS Office and Google Workspace to Salesforce and hundreds of other apps. It has a strong focus on security, with support for mobile synchronization and device management. It is certified compliant with HIPAA, GDPR, FINRA, and HITECH Act. However, this security focus means it can be slow to upload files, synchronize changes, or access the app on slower internet connections. It also requires constant connection to the cloud to access files, which can be problematic for offline users or those in the field. And for the pricing? Box offers a free plan for single users and paid plans starting at $5 per month for up to three users if billed annually. 
Next, we have Google Workspace. Formerly known as Google Suite, Google Workspace hardly needs any introduction. Google's cloud-based Office Suite provides many document management and collaboration tools in Google Drive, Calendar, Meet, Docs, and Sheets. The rebranded version now comes with much-needed cloud security, such as data loss prevention and client-side encryption. Workspace excels as a jack-of-all-trade, offering other productivity tools like word processing, spreadsheets, and email. However, its general nature also makes it weak for specialized tasks like project management, document management, or acting as a knowledge base. For example, Google Drive lacks the file hierarchy structure common in other SharePoint replacements. Google Docs, while being a strong MS Word alternative, is ill-suited for use as a wiki or internal knowledge base. This product is best for startups or small businesses that need robust document sharing capabilities but don't require complex workflows. Pricing for Google Workspace ranges between $6 and $18 per month. One-year commitment. Google Workspace comes with a 14-day free trial. So as you can see, SharePoint isn't the only great app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we've listed here today. Some have features similar to SharePoint's. Others have a completely different set of features and functions. Like I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if this video was helpful, you can check the links in the description. Again, that helps a lot, so thank you. The point of this video isn't to force you to use something other than SharePoint. It's to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it. But for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. So hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.